Hello, welcome to Muscles for Menopause. My name is Tamala, and I'm going to run you through a quick, mm, little bit dynamic warm up. This is excellent for women who are um, a little bit stiff in the joints, who wake up, like I wake up in the morning, I'm a little bit stiff, being 56, like a, you know, a little, have to get everything oiled up and getting going. Okay, all you'll need is this tubing. And I'm going to start and I'm going to alternate between upper body, lower body, five to seven minutes. You can add more exercises if you like. Highly recommended. Stand in athletic stance. And I'm just going to start by opening up my shoulders. Oh, I'm just hearing a lot of cracking. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. You probably won't hear it on the uh, video, but it's there. So I'll do, you know, five to ten of these. I'm not counting. I'm just going by feel. And then I might go side to side, holding in my abs. I'm beginning to get a sense of integrating my abdominals into my movement. So I'll remember that as I go into the rest of the workout. And down. So I won't use that for a little while. And I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna do just easy squats, just easy air squats. And I'm trying to get a sense of grounding in my feet, pulling in the abdominals as I'm coming up and kind of creating the, the setting for how I want to be in the rest of my workout. So that upright body, integrity in the spine. And then I'm gonna move around my knees. This is a really good creaky one. And what I'm trying to do is not create that inner knee movement. I'm trying to make it all kind of even in circles and the other way. So I find this really important um, because I have quite stiff knees. And I, as I do this, I don't have any pain. This is pretty easy, but you can notice it's a lot of movement. I'm not doing static stretching when I begin my workout. Okay, and then I might go down and sit there for a moment and come all the way up. The other thing I like to do is I like to create circles through my hip. Again, I'm getting some cracking noises and I'm not letting the upper body move with this, right? I'm not kind of going all over the place. I'm containing my core or containing through the core and so I went one way and then I'm going the other way and I'm trying to keep as still as I can through my hip girdle here and then same thing other side and again I'm not counting I'm going by feel there's going to be plenty of counting when I do my workout okay so I'm staying upright other direction so you can see I'm just trying to hit all the major joints and I get a big cracking in this one. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to swing my legs, just a little bit of swings. And I'm getting in touch here with my glute. I can feel it squeeze a little bit here. And same thing, other leg. And again, you know, I'm just kind of getting a sense of, okay, I'm going to be standing maybe on one leg today, trying to keep my body in its uprightness, keep my shoulders down. So I'm preparing my body for movement. Okay, so I'm going to go wide, I'm going to go down and up. So for me, I'm accessing my hamstrings here. I can feel them. They're a little bit tight this morning, sometimes from running, sometimes from hiking, you know, whatever I've been doing. And maybe one more. Okay, and then I'm going to go side to side. Side to side. And I can feel this all the way through the lower joints of my ankles, through my knees, through my hips. So I really like this multi-joint situation here. And sitting in the middle and coming all the way up. I'm going to go back into my upper body, make big circles with my arms. And again, I'm not letting my whole body move, right? I'm containing myself with my core, other direction. And I'm trying to get as much mobility as I can through this shoulder joint. So that when I start doing my exercises, my range of motion is potentially better 
than when I just stepped out of bed. Another arm. Big circles. I'm trying to take up a lot of space. Another direction. Lots of cracking in the shoulder. And then I might just impress upon my body a little bit of a lunge for a moment, just to get a sense of, you know, being grounded in my feet and just kind of like some pulses. And I, I also feel like my back calf here coming in, kind of getting a sense of myself in space and upright and just switching. These are just, just quick little movements preparing myself. Let's do one more. So right now, you can't see, but I feel heat. And I certainly can speak, but I feel like I'm warmed up. Um, so if you feel like you need a little joint warming, lubricating up in the morning, this is a great warm up. 